So listen, if you have been looking for a work from home job and you've been applying to many different places, but you have been having no luck, then you are in the right place right now. Because today I'm about to share 14 work from home jobs that are currently hiring these companies are always hiring how do i know this because people have been sharing these offer letters and these are recent letters these companies are looking to hire people now the good thing about it most of these are worldwide and the average pay is about 20 dollars. there are some jobs that pay more and some a little less but you won't want to miss any of these today what's up guys this is monique and welcome back to the channel i am back with the news that you can use but first if you are new here hello bonjour hola aloha konnichiwa wagwan shalom assalamu alaikum jambo namaste so i'm about to share these 14 companies with you and i think i'm feeling good today so i'm gonna throw a bonus in there and make it 15. what most people have been doing they have been applying to all of these positions that i'm about to mention and the reason being because the more places you apply the more chances you have a being hired and also keep in mind as you go and look into these different positions that these companies are always updating them so in case you don't see something that we talk about today at the time that you watch this video then make sure you check back periodically because I'm telling you I have been seeing people hired year-round for many of these positions so jumping right into number one, we have teleperformance. And many people are saying that about a week after they applied here is when they received their interview and a lot of them were hired on the day that they were interviewed. But this is a place that will allow you to work wherever you live. All you have to do is come right here and go through this list to see if your country is on there. But for the most part with this company, the positions that a lot of people are hired for is in customer service. And the next place I've been seeing many people receive these job offers is with EverRise. I don't know if it's EverRise or EveRise, but we'll just say Ever. But they have a variety of different positions for you to look at and see what you like best. And this one again is found in many different countries and the position that I am seeing most people hire for yet again is in customer service. But like I said, there are other options here. All you have to do is scroll through and see what you like. There's insurance agents that they're looking for. And I'm moving kind of fast through this because we have a lot to get through today and that's why we're jumping straight into number three. And the next place that's hiring is going to be with T-Tech, T-T-E-C. And again, this is one that I have been coming across many job offer letters. Someone said they applied and the next day they received an option to schedule an interview and they scheduled their interview a few weeks later and the very next day after they interviewed, they were hired. This one is also found in many different countries. They have a lot of customer service positions available and it's going to be in a variety of different areas such as help desk, they have automotive insurance, they have customer service reps they're looking for in healthcare and you will have to complete an assessment and based on the results of that assessment is when they will then determine if they want to give you their interview or not. Now the customer service rep position that this particular person was hired for I saw that the pay for them is going to be $16 an hour. There's another position that's open for an insurance agent and they are paying $20 an hour. But the good thing about this is you don't have to worry about if you are licensed right now as an insurance agent because of the fact that they are going to offer you a free license class and they're also going to be paying for your exams that you have to take. So they are really trying to get people into these positions and and helping you out as best they can. Next up on the list that's currently hiring many people is going to be Conduent. They also have a variety of different positions. Again, I'm just pulling out the ones that I know people have definitely been being hired for, but I want you to do your due diligence and go through here and see if you see something else that you like. But again, this one is found in many different countries. I saw a position that's currently available in Jamaica. It's a benefits administration associate, and this is entry level. And before you even add don't worry I'm putting all of these links to these different jobs down in the description so that you can go through for yourself and find out any additional information that you need if it's in your country because 
I don't know. I just want to bring you the people that's hiring. Speaking of which, jumping into that next company that's hiring, we have Cigna. Now, out of all the jobs, I think that I have been seeing the most job offers coming from Cigna. I don't know if they're going on a hiring frenzy or what, but some of the positions that I have been seeing people being hired for is intake representatives, and there are many different other type of customer service representatives that they're hiring for. And just a little FYI, this company will request a drug test and background check. And the rate of pay can range anywhere from $17 to $22 an hour. It's just gonna really depend on your experience. Now this one seems to be mainly based in the US, but while we are on the topic of insurance companies, I have a few more that I want to share with you because they have been hiring like crazy. The next one that is hiring many people is State Form and they are looking for claim associates. They also have a care center specialist and the pay for that one is $19.75 an hour. Now with these insurance companies, there will be some positions that require you to be licensed. There are some that don't. So just make sure as you're going through these jobs, you're looking at the details to find out which positions you need a license for and what you don't. And again, this insurance company is based in the US. And as a bonus, I'm going to throw one more insurance company out there that I have been seeing a lot of job offer letters on Progressive. Some of them require degrees, some of them don't. I've been seeing a lot of pay around $21 an hour. There's some that pay $50 to $70,000 a year. They are also hiring for customer service representatives as well. And that's the one that again, I have been seeing a lot of people offer positions with. And of course they are doing background checks too. But that's just one I wanted to put out there for you to look into to see if that may be one that you're interested in. So next on our list, we have a company called A-Light. And again, they have been hiring many people as well. This one is pretty much worldwide. And I say worldwide a lot because on the company's websites, a lot of them say they're hiring worldwide. I'm not making it up. I'm just reporting what they say, y'all. But I've been seeing positions from, of course, in the United States. I saw positions in India and the Philippines. And of course, again, a lot of people are being hired in customer service and sales. And I've been seeing that the pay for this one is somewhere around $18 an hour. But the good thing about this company, unlike many others that I've been seeing, is that they will be providing all of the necessary equipment, like your computer, your monitor, your keyboard, your mouse, your headset, and even your ethernet cable. So they're quite all right with me. So next on our hiring tour, we're gonna stop by U-Haul because they're the next company that have been hiring many different people. Now the pay rate for U-Haul can range anywhere from $17 dollars to twenty dollars an hour and one thing that I noticed that stood out about this one for sure to me is the flexibility of their schedule from what I saw there were many different shift options that were available so that may be helpful for people that need specific hours that you have to work now with this one, I didn't see anything that said they will provide equipment. So that's something to keep in mind when you are applying to this one. And also they say you cannot use Mac software, but the positions that they are hiring in is sales agents and customer service. So next we have the company called Found Ever. Found Ever is another one that is hiring many people. They are hiring in many different countries. From the UK, I even saw a position in Berlin on there. And every other company I share, of course, is hiring in the US. But the positions I've been seeing a lot of offers for are customer service reps, they have tech support, and they also have other positions for you to look into as well. Now, of all the jobs that I have mentioned, this one seems to be on the lower end when it comes to pay with the average being anywhere from $12 to $15 an hour. But again, they are hiring and if you are trying to get a job right now, if you really have to get in somewhere, this may be one that you want to consider. And they also have an assessment that they want you to take as well as a drug test and a background check. Now another company that's always in my own inbox trying to see if I'm looking for a job is going to be CVS. Many people have been getting offer letters from them as well. 
and they have a number of positions but again you know which one i'm going to say customer service reps or was hot with this company as well and they are also hiring for data entry positions but you have to be a pharmacy tech for those so if any of you watching do have a license as a pharmacy tech they're looking for you they need you but they say that the starting pay for the customer service reps is $17.50 an hour. But they do have a range of $17 all the way up to $27. And they'll determine your pay based on the experience that you bring to the table. And as far as experience go, they say they do want you to have at least one year of customer service experience. But if you don't have that, still apply because they're hiring people that don't have it too. The next company we have is one called Activist Connect and they are hiring for virtual customer service reps. With this one, they want you to take a computer speed test. They have a link that they'll provide and they want you to take a screenshot of the results so that you can attach it to your application so that they can review those results as they review your application. Now this one is only based in the United States from what I've seen and the pay is $17 an hour. The next company that is sending out offer letters to people right now is going to be World Travel Holdings. And what I like about this one again, they are going to provide your equipment that you need. They're going to give you a computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse, headset, and a webcam they are actually looking for customer service reps and they're also looking for travel agents as well and the two places that they are hiring is in the united states and in the uk and i didn't find any type of education or experience requirements so this may be a good one for those of you who don't have a high school diploma or a ged to apply to and the pay for world travel holdings is about $15 an hour and they are going to ask you to take an assessment that you need to pass. So back on our hiring tour, we're about to now stop at a company called Cognizant. They are currently hiring many customer service reps among many other positions. And this is another one that's just going to be in the United States. Now as far as pay go, they are on the lower end of the scale out of all of the jobs that we're sharing today as well. With their pay starting at about $14.50 an hour for English speaking employees and then they pay $15.50 if you are bilingual. But one thing they do offer is up to $300 bonuses every month. And they also provide you with the equipment that you need to do the job. And the last company on our list that is sending out offer letters to many people is going to be Alarica. I don't know if I said the name right, but that's what they're going to be today. So this is one that is hiring in many different countries. And if you want to see if they're in your country, you can check out the list right here. But they are looking for people in tech support. They are looking for financial care representatives. And they are also looking for customer service representatives. They do offer benefits if that is something that you want to make sure you can grab with these jobs. But this is another one for you to apply to. And again, what people are doing is applying to every single one of these companies. And people are hearing back from these companies pretty fast. So you want to hop on this now. So I hope that this helps you out. If you want a part two to this video, because I probably have 20 other places you can apply to that's sending out a lot of offer letters as well. But drop it down in the comments and I'll bring that to you. Also, like this video for me because it helps me out. And other than that, I thank you so much for watching. Good luck on your search. And make sure you come back and let me know when you get that interview and also when you get that job. Until next time, we are out. Peace. <laughs>